Welcome back. Ashley Metzger now with the Desert Water Agency joining us. We're going to be talking about being safe around the Whitewater River, right? But yes. we want to start by talking about mentioning all the rain we're getting the, yes. the water. So no, a reminder. <laughs> no one's really thinking about going in the river at this moment because there's a river all around right. us with all of this right. rain. Um, you know, like you said, waking up in the middle of the night to these thunder and lightning storms and we just want to remind people that, you know, when you're losing sleep, make sure your sprinklers get some rest too, because um, all of that water is giving your plants ample, ample water for what they need right now. So maybe for the next several days, turn your irrigation off. Mm -hmm. I think and people then, get in such a, you know, you get in the routine of not having rain, not having rain, so you forget, but this is a good reminder. I mean, we're seeing a few days of it now, so it's a good reminder. Yes, it's a great time to do that. And then it is, uh, thanks to Jerry for sharing with us, it's going to dry up, which is nice. But um, we don't want people heading to the river, you know, to, to get a reprieve from those hot temps. We want people going to the preserve, maybe. Okay. which is a nice safe area and for where, people. Where is that? So if you are on the 10 freeway, mm -hmm. it's north of the freeway off of Tipton Road. Okay. And you just go up, it's about four miles off of the freeway to get to the preserve itself. You gotta get there early because there are limited parking spaces, but it's a, a great place to hang out. It's open daily from eight to five. It's free, but you can give them a donation if you'd like. There's great spaces for picnics. There's shaded areas. They have ponds with, with fish in them. So this is a much better, safer, obviously a legal um, option because you're saying the Whitewater River swimming in it, that is illegal. It is illegal and it's not only illegal, but it is extremely dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, just last week, there was actually a rescue there on Friday and well, they had to be video. helicoptered out of the river. And, you know, it, it's never a fun way. You know, someone wow. went in just with a, an inflatable raft. Wow. And, uh, yeah. you know, that's, that's a lot of, you know, risk you're putting yourself in and certainly children. I see a lot of people down there sometimes when I'm driving by the 10 that have children and look at how fast that water is moving. Okay, so just staying out of that area. Yes. The preserve, a good option. The preserve is the great option. You don't want to see anywhere where you see white caps at all is going to be far too fast and too dangerous. And that water that's coming in it really is a good thing for our community at the end of the day sure. because we're we're recharging or replenishing our groundwater basin. But there are risks associated with people getting too close to that river. There are yeah. signs everywhere saying no trespassing, stay out. Right. Well, we talk about that with cars too. To don't try to drive through. You know, people think like, oh, I have a big truck. I can get through a few inches. But I think they say it only takes four inches for your car to be swept away. Just don't underestimate it. I think a lot of people underestimate no. rivers as well, right? Play it safe. That's a good Better good safe than sorry every time. And then the parking back there can be an issue too. If you just park alongside that road um, and a fire happens to start, someone throws out a cigarette butt or has a barbecue and a you know, charcoal goes astray, there could be a fire back there. And if there are cars parked along that way, it's very difficult for people to get out. All right, Ashley, thank you again. Better safe than sorry. That's a good motto. Thanks for talking.